Hey everyone, this is Aaron with Crypto Trends. Today, May 30th, 2019, Bitcoin, BTC, taking a look at an update. Previous video I made was the looming more major corrections ahead. So we're going to be taking a look at that. The previous video I made was this one. It was posted back on March 27, three days ago. Bitcoin Lumi major correction. So we're going to be taking a look at that. So first off, please keep in mind that this is not financial advice, just my opinion. We're also going to be taking a look at the Digibuy, Digibuy chart to see how it's progressing and some other altcoins perhaps we'll see. And at the end, we'll be answering your questions and taking that in the chat section. So let's get to it. Let's go take a look at Bitcoin because right now it is really taking a dump let me make sure that i am indeed streaming here real quick yeah okay i'm streaming so that's great <coughs> excuse me there all right so with uh, bitcoin here we can see let me scroll in here this is bitcoin usd on the 45 minute on bitfinex bitfinex yeah Alrighty, so as we can see here we came all the way up we had this nice little spike let me shrink it down so you guys can see we had this nice little spike way above this line here. This is a line. Where does this come from? This comes from what's called a uh, buying climax in Wyckoff. So let me click on that, copy and paste it there. I'll go ahead and label it correctly. Uh, BC for buying climax. That is Wyckoffian stuff. Wyckoff. Check out Wyckoff if you haven't. So up here we have our preliminary supply. That's the first sign of supply coming into the market. Uh, well, actually, for this section of the of the chart, so the supply comes in, all right, and uh, it goes up to the buying climax. Usually, there on Wyckoff, what we do is we draw a nice line. That is our upper bounds region, and then we have a lower bounds region where it comes down. And that's called the rally because one is the cause, one is the effect. It goes up, the supply is too great, and so it falls down to where all of a sudden demand kicks back in. That's the rally. And that in combination with the buying climax line, that's what gives you your trading range. Yeah, so we have a trading range as, as you can see here. It was just bouncing around there for a long time, right? Took a lower dip down and then it just all of a sudden whammo popped up and it surpassed it let me get this little uh hand guy out of there okay and so it just passed it right up and it shot all the way up to on this chart right around ninety one hundred dollars okay and that is a magic that is a magic number that ninety one hundred uh that's a magic target also about the 8800 range is also a magic target because that is the buying climax so what we do is in the future watch out for tests hitting against this line which i have right about 8900 okay right around in there it doesn't have to be quite exact precise to the penny you know that type of thing but you don't know, get it close all right so i was uh, actually doing a mentorship program with a uh, uh, a person where you know we're just going over the charts and like how to chart this thing and i drew this box on there with this person and lo and behold it punched the box whammo bammo that's really cool thing uh i have target boxes of where i think things are going to go how it gets there i don't know but i have i have a method well i do know i have a method on how to get there <laughs> i just don't have the time to explain it in this video but nevertheless it popped up and then it dropped all the way down and how far did it go it went all the way down it did one of those bart simpson things right yeah it came all the way down and life life is just over everybody runs for the hills it's a terrible thing yeah but anyway what are what were they doing up here okay when this spiked up because if we go ahead and we change this from the 45 minute down to let's say the uh, three minute okay it'll make the candles a little bit easier to see let me scroll on over get the scale here right okay there so i'm sure you guys have seen this before but we're, what we're doing is just taking a look as you can see on the three minute it didn't take very long to spike up and then it went down pretty quick uh it was testing resistance but up here it's clearing it's clearing stops okay it's clearing the stops that people have set because if they're they're basically looking to see oh this is nosebleed high level they're placing shorts and so where they're placing their shorts so they don't um you know if things get bad or whatever their, their stops they're they're putting them here they're putting them up here in this region and so what that spike did is basically 
cleared them all out, right? It cleared them all out. And so that was the upper bounds, the upper bounds that it cleared them all out. Well, not all of them, but a nice chunk. Let's put it that way. And it came down here. Didn't see any, any. Look at this pathetic, pathetic volume here. Just like nothing, okay? Pathetic volume. That's um, volume of the retail. And um, the, you know, the person, the CO we call him, the composite operator. You might call them manipulators, and that's okay. Yeah, everything is manipulated. You know, the better off you do that, you know, great. It's not some big old conspiracy theory thing or anything like that. It happens in all the markets, okay? Gold, silver, um, uh, I don't know, dollar market for all I know. We'll see. <laughs> but nevertheless, what they did is they came down here. They're testing the market for supply. They always test supply and demand. And they came down here and there was no demand. There was no there was nothing. There was no demand for uh, purchasing to make the price go up. So they figured, okay, fine. Well, let's see if we can shake some coins loose. That's what they did. This is a shakeout right here. So this is what we're experiencing here in the not too distant past. Came all the way down. So that was a shakeout. And what that was doing is clearing all the stops because people are looking down here and they're saying, oh, it's around here. If you're putting a stop, you're usually putting it right below there or here or here. It depends on how conservative you are. A lot of people go back and look uh, for places to put their stops for past support. But here there wasn't any. So they'd usually use fib levels and stuff like that. But that didn't help a lot of people because they just blew through the fibs, didn't they? <laughs> they just blew through all the fibs. And so a lot of people got liquidated on upside and downside, which created a lot of liquidity. These guys picked up a lot of nice coins, right? That <clears throat> you see a lot of people are going to hang on to a coin and they're not going to let it go. They place their bets basically. Wham. Okay. If you're not going to sell it, then we're going to take it from you because we know where your stops are. So we're going to blow through that and take it. So they took your coins. Anyway, what's interesting about this is that you can see about this pattern down here. It came all the way down to this level. Is there anything significant about that level? Yeah, it's pretty much support here. If we let me scroll out here out of the three minute, go to the 45 minute. We'll see what that green line is that I have drawn. Um, let me go ahead and scoot this on over. Do I have auto on? No, let me put auto back on. Okay, so right here, what was this green line? Well, if we look way to the left, we have, it's a line from another buying climax, the previous buying climax. So let's just take that over, just extend all over, trying to get it uh, straight there. Okay, whammo bammo. Let's scroll back in, and we can see here, let me go back to the three minute, because exciting things happen on the three minute here. Okay, so when we're looking at this, what's interesting to note is that it's forming what I like to call a, um, <coughs> I like to call it a, uh, a seagull pattern, which is like this. Whoops, let me get my drawing tool back on. Seagull pattern looks like this because, why do I call it that? Because when you're like painting, if you do paint and you're trying to do little seagulls in the background, you take a little black and you like make that kind of little mark it looks like a bird flying so i just call it seagull pattern and you have the wings wham and it goes like that okay so where is this thing going right where is it going it took a dip down here and it found pretty much support going up so the composite operator really had no interest in going below the previous buying climax yeah, the previous buying climax. So what they did is they actually purchased enough coins. They have stopping volume. How do I know this is stopping volume? <laughs> Look at that amount of volume that it took to actually stop it. Huge amount of, of buy volume, right? Huge amount of buy. So they are really, really picking up a whole bunch of coins right here. They are, they are happy, happy campers. They are picking up a bunch of coins because that is their goal to have the coins so you don't because they know this thing is going to the moon. It is going to the moon. 
by far. Maybe the moon isn't quite um, for Bitcoin. Maybe it doesn't put it uh, in quite the um, realm that I'm thinking of. Uh, let's say, how about Mars? Yeah, Mars sounds better. So I'm not a moon boy or anything like that. I'm not. I'm like a Mars guy. Okay. Uh, this thing is going places, and I'm talking. I'm talking within the next few years. Okay. I'm not talking tomorrow. So much longer term. There's too much good news. We have all these investment uh, vehicles that are coming. They're building up FOMO. Da 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 da. da you know, uh, fidelity backed if it ever comes. We'll see. But. Uh, grayscale one after another they're paying premiums for Bitcoin it's like what they're paying what uh, 11 three today or something like that 11,300 when Bitcoin is going for uh, 85 yeah huge premiums that uh, Wall Street's buying in <sighs> good news good news good news huge information uh, keep that in mind why else would somebody bother why else would somebody bother to, to do all this liquidation here and to pick up all these coins. They would just let this thing fall, right? No, it's because what they want to do is they want to pick up the coins and they want to pick up more coins. Yeah. So if we're looking at this chart, what do we have here? We have nice declining volume. See how the volume's going down? Looking at the larger spikes, okay? Looking at the larger spikes, that's the uh, institutional money. Down here is just... Yeah, some of the larger whales, okay? Uh, whales cannot compare to institutional money. Well, some maybe. Uh, yeah, you'd probably call institution whales. I mean, it's somewhat synonymous. But I'm thinking of like the really large players in here. They're they're the ones that can make these uh, make these huge huge spikes. So what do we have? We have huge resistance uh, on this line on the buying climax line of the previous little rally. Uh, not rally, but it's called a campaign. And it bounced up and it's going down. It's checking demand. See how many people are interested in buying this at this level. And uh, there's some, there's some, but it's really fading off, okay? And also keep in mind that this time frame where I'm at, it's almost 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And uh, so the U.S. is pretty much asleep and UK will be waking up pretty soon so we're we're going to see what happens with the UK also another important thing is that the CME futures are closing on Friday hey manana so we'll see what happens if this thing bounces yeah keep an eye on the futures when they close for the CME yeah don't forget about that okay so anyway uh, my previous video that I had here it was this was on May 27th, okay? May 27th, three days ago, right? Today's the 30th. But anyway, let us uh, let me blow this up and let's take a quick listen. I'll be quiet here. And I have this at the uh, 39, 39 minute mark. The link is below to this video. And what we're doing is we're checking it out. As you can see the chart and I'll just sit here and be quiet and let's listen to what I was saying. Let me make sure I turn that up. Was, was, um, Hopefully you guys can hear that. Reaccumulation. All right. What I'm actually thinking is that we're going to see a pretty big spike down. Another one of these, uh, like, Barts. So I'm thinking, yeah, I might travel around here for a bit. But then all of a sudden, whammo. Okay. Big old whammo. And um, I might travel around <coughs> here a bit. And then whammo down here to the, about the 6900 area we'll see okay so mm, we will see so it did drop down right there on that head right isn't that interesting let me get these earphones off so isn't that interesting oh my oh my how did i know that um years of experience of charting and just knowing and um basically following following the theory of pain what would cause the most pain and where can they get the most transactions and liquidity so always follow liquidity but anyway take a listen to the whole video it gets in into it more but there you go as you can see right there whammo that's the chart and so let's get back here where does that look like for us on this one that we're looking at let's go to the uh, 45 minute again 
scroll in so that part definitely was there and the other part of it was saying okay well let's go back right boom could go there we'll see but here's another buying climax let me click on uh, click on this guy here there so that's a nice one here's a previous AR that's a previous level let me scroll in so you guys can see that <coughs> okay so what we did is we bounced off a previous buying climax from the previous rally this rally up in here so I hit the buying climax there it is bounce right off of that for the most part looks like it's going down towards it again as we speak yeah it's trying to go down and it's going up again uh, okay so where else would be another test it could do way down here and then also the uh, the buying climax in this is still another range is still another thing that's about eh, I don't know 75 mark we'll see way down as far as I would expect it to go would be where this uh, previous AR line is which is where the uh, first reaccumulation actually started and that's about eh, 68 so we'll see but that's if it really dumps down and then that's when things could get very interesting very interesting for the future but overall the I mean the overall trend for BTC is just I mean come on it's a bull market we are still in a bull market are we in a bull run no we not in a bull run and we haven't been in a bull run not yet not yet but things to come right things to look forward to hopefully it comes sooner than later we shall see let me scroll this thing down where can this thing go let me take okay autos off Auto's off. Let me get this thing down. Do I have any big boxes floating around? Any big boxes floating around? Yeah, I have this one over here for a while. We'll see. So I had this green one up here. It hit that, so that's cool. Let me put auto back on. All right. So right now, let's go take a look at that because it looked like it just dumped. Let's go to the one minute. See what it's doing. Uh, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Down, 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 down. Okay, what this is trying to do is, um, these are what I call, uh, calls for hope. They're, they're basically fake outs where people are seeing a, like that, that V pattern. And it's uh, faking them out. They're saying, oh, it's going to be a V again. And it's going to go like this and then up, right? No, fake out. Calls of hope. Hey, you should have hope here. Come and play. Come and play, guys. You should have hope. Come and play. Okay, you played. Wham. I'm getting your coins. I'm dumping it and you're going to sell your coins. Because this thing could, it should have been. This is actually a failed... Looking at this, this is actually a failed uh, rally, okay? Failed rally, it should have gone up to the neckline already and keep on testing. So what I'm looking for actually is what I said in the video before, looking at further testing to the downside, but that could change because it all depends it all depends on uh, how much buying pressure there is here but I think they're definitely going to test it so they're testing it here again and it just could keep on going up and doing its thing so we'll see what happens but overall I'm just kinda like um, you know sitting tight having fun with the market what about you guys what are you doing okay um, let me see hey there's some people in the chat hey there guys thanks for watching let me go over to let me kill this Let's go over to DGB real quick. DGB, USDT, see what that thing is going on. Uh, one minute, that's not a pretty chart on the one minute. Let's go to the uh, 15, okay. Yeah, probably better the 45, all right. So this is um, a little bit better for on uh, Digibyte. Uh, it's been playing, it's been doing its normal thing. It's been looking great, uh, great chart as far as Wyckoff goes. 
went up and it hit this upper bounds several times which is awesome it's coming down the important thing right now where it's at a crux is can it bounce off and then continue going up okay and it's actually going up off the chart there so we'll see that is a classic pattern of of what things do when they come down below after they make a top they come down they 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 come off the top they come down below like that support line and then they continue onward do another reaccumulation and continue onward stuff like that okay so digibyte could do that we'll look and see but keep out keep an eye out for right around here if it starts to approach this line here which is the uh, the buying climax then I'll scroll back in so you can see it make sure I put it on auto here real quick there and what level is that uh, about 0.0153 if you guys can see that so we'll see hopefully it'll come up and break it and keep an eye on the volume what's the volume doing down here bunch of huge cells shake out what they do is they shake people out and sometimes they wear them out basically what you can do is whatever you think is going to happen do the reverse <laughs> Oh my, so what else do we have here looking at volumes? We have decreasing buys. Took a lot of profits. Took a lot of profits. Let's see if there's any signs of weakness in Digibyte here real quick. Uh, this looks interesting. This one right here, this particular green candle right here is because it's on low. Um, also this really low one right here is interesting um, it looks like there's just not a whole lot of uh, sellers a whole lot of sellers in this area same as a whole like buyers are gone okay so it looks like they've uh, pretty much got the supply in this range which would mean yeah uh, I think they got a bunch of supply, which would mean a um, a nice um, swing to the upside here. Because when they get the supply, they'll do a test to it. They'll do a test to the bottom, and then they'll do a test to the top. If it turns out to be a successful test, then what we're looking at for test would be a low volume, low volume green candle going up, and then another one, and <laughs> for the second one we want it to actually go higher with uh, less volume okay so if we can see less effort being expanded that results in a higher wick a higher candle that's a great sign so keep an eye out for that okay that's that's a signal that we're looking for and that is what the big buyers look for to see if they have the demand because once they do they can force the price up without uh, it basically cost them a lot less money to kick the price up than it normally would okay so that's about it guys just going over to the chat and say hi to some people answer some questions then take off but hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe get notified all that good stuff and uh so hey there's fbi top dog hey how's it going there what do you got to say he said picked up another bag of the key thank you so much for making all the videos hey you're welcome the key, the key. What is going on with the key? If you guys don't know about the key, do your research. So this is over here on Coin Gecko. Its ticker is TKY. There it is. <coughs> In my opinion, this, as far as um, business-wise goes, as uh, crypto and business, it's it's um, V chain. Okay. As far as intergovernmental money exchange between governments and stuff, i.e. world currency, Bitcoin. For currency uh, being traded among people, Digibyte. From a, a geopolitical or political science aspect, as far as having real world uh, changing things in society and stuff like that, the key. Check out the key, do your research. It'll probably take you a good two weeks to do your research on the key.
but it is TKY and what they are is a they have uh, undeniable irrefutable identity verification and uh, it's off of biometrics okay so facial recognition palm scanning uh, fingerprints retinal scans that type of stuff to make sure that uh, irrefutable who you are is who you are okay it's not just oh I signed up with uh, you know my Facebook ID it's way beyond that this is stuff that can be held up in court okay and that is the key they're doing other things about it very very interesting project very interesting and they are making a ton a ton of progress they don't do marketing per se they are busy working on the product they are getting it done and what is coming up with the key is that they have uh, right now they're ranked 271 on the market cap they have um, sorry I was like working out today uh, good old Krav Magra you see that if you guys haven't done Krav Magra hey but um, the key is awesome and they have the 30th of June key informations for them if we go to their reddit they have like little post here and they have save the date save the date if they have that post uh, where is that well it was in here there it is okay add to your calendar the key government evaluation that's the big one we've all been waiting for also the public chain test is both on the 30th so the 30th for the key is an exciting exciting day uh, looking forward to that we'll see what happens please keep in mind that uh, well that value does not necessarily translate in the price but hopefully in this case well we'll see <laughs> no guarantees but to me this is a very very interesting project and oh look they won another award uh, the key was granted a national technology innovation award of 2019 from the Chinese government uh, information product yeah that's yeah they 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 win a bunch of awards they're really tight do your research I could talk about the key for a long time and as you can see yeah they're they're yeah they're down 20 percent for the seven days not so great money wise is it oh well that happens where can you get these guys on Qcoin ah so yeah that's like the latest news on the key hey there's Hanjo Aloha Shakabra and you're welcome for the videos top dog FBI top dog you're welcome so with your name FBI you were probably taught Krav McGraw right yeah maybe not well probably maybe so Hanjo what do you have to say this was a good correction no fat finger this time <laughs> right yeah there was no fat finger there let's put it this way when people are dealing with that kind of money they do not fat finger period they do not fat finger it all right um yeah oh and hanjo says please do a zillica video soon thanks for all you okay great you're welcome yeah what is zill doing lately we'll take a look at it here right quick um i know they've been working on their token swap oh we'll just look at it versus uh, eth why not see what it's doing Oh, uh, let me scroll out. Okay, so right now we're in a spring. As far as ETH goes, let's go out to the uh, uh, four hour. Yeah, this is okay. It's perfect. It it is. This is textbook. It is. Um, it is looking very very good to me, man. Very very good. There's Zilica. It's it's like awesome, man. And this is the ETH pairing. Okay. I'll go over this stuff, but Zill looks, Zill looks fantastic. There's a lot of things as far as the patterns that are hidden. A lot of people can't see the patterns and they don't know what the heck is going on. Oh my gosh. If you use standard TA, you're in that group. You don't know what the heck is going on. Everything is confusing, this and that. Yeah, check out Wyckoff. But the key looks good, man. Key looks good. So yes, I'll do a video on it. I'll do a video on that one tomorrow because I love Zillica. Yeah, check out Zillica. Do your research on Zillica. It's like, man, Zillica is like cool because it has the sharding thing. It's like real deal sharding and it has a lot of things uh, going for it, okay? 
it it's do your research that's all i can say do your research do your research on the key do your research on v chain do your research on digibyte i mean gosh there's so many exciting projects out there they are um granted the ones that are crap that far outweigh the exciting projects but that doesn't mean there's not there there's not a lot of exciting projects out there um so fbi top dog wants to know if i had a twitter account uh yeah but i don't know what it is i think it might be um crypt crypto trends io that's crypto trends io crypto trends io um we'll have to see but if you want to contact me i have my contact uh information down below right there okay hey so you can send me send me a note or whatever i am thinking about opening up a um, some type of group chat or group something like that where we can talk about cryptos and fun stuff like that a little bit more in depth um so yeah i'm playing with that idea and we'll probably do something with it in the near future so that'll, that will be a lot of fun but on this, I'm just trying to get through the information and speed through and stuff like that. Um, trying to answer all your questions. That's why my videos go so long. The actual first presentation is like 10, 15 minutes. But then I take, you know, time to answer you guys' questions because you guys are important to me. And the audience is just awesome. Man, I have like an awesome audience. So thanks for watching, guys. Wonderful uh, input you, you have. So Twitter account, yeah, I have one. But I really don't remember what it is. I'll look it up and I'll, I'll post it. Hey, Scout Sniper, what up? <coughs> I, am I interested in Digibyte? Yeah, I think I might actually have a full node going. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, check out Digibyte. Digibyte is um, an awesome, awesome project, okay? It doesn't get any, any... Uh, well, it gets some, but it doesn't get nearly the amount of attention from um, other people out there of what it really is. It's like an awesome, awesome project. It's a fork of Litecoin. So if there's any advancement Litecoin makes, hey, they can be bolted on to Digibyte with hardly any effort, right? Real quick. Plus, Digibyte's doing its own thing. They have like the Digi Cafe for merchants, which is really cool. 200,000 plus nodes spread around the globe. Hey, that is cool. That's going to be hard to take down, isn't it? How are you going to take down 200,000 plus nodes spread around the world? Hmm. Go figure. Lots of things. They're having like uh, digital digi assets coming on board pretty soon. They have the digi ID and they have some other stuff. Do your research on Digibyte, man. It is it is like it is like awesome. Plus on the wallet, the wallet. I mean, Hanjo and I would send. Uh, like a, a real minimal amount back and uh, he'd send it to me. He's in Hawaii and I'm in California. And um, it's fast, man. You can get it like in 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, he said that he had a friend where he sent out Wallet the Wallet that was in London. It took like, he said it was instant, man. So did uh, Digibyte's very fast. And then plus they're going to be having their Havening coming up soon. Uh, Havening is where in their their speed is going to be decreased by uh well it's going to double okay the time is going to be halved so let's say it's 30 seconds right now it's going to be cut to 15 yeah so it's going to be even faster way cool so fbi wants to know do i have any thoughts on exrn hmm exrn <coughs> i don't know let's take a look at them Okay, um, wow, that uh, chart's all over the place, okay. Where can you get this guy? IDEX, Hotbit, all right. What do they even do? Checking my browser, hmm. Okay, we'll give this a second if it doesn't go. Okay, it's doing something. 
Innovative cross-chain protocol connecting blockchains using cross-chain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. cross-chain stuff. What is EXRN chain? Protocol for network for cross-chain value and data transfer between distributed ledgers. Okay, swaps, payments. Free side chains. All right. Seventy percent air dropped, huh? All right. Well, maybe I'll take a look at them. Go ahead and in the chat or the comments below, put why you like them. But right now, I don't have any thoughts. I don't have time right now to go into their energy or anything like that. Uh, so go ahead and put why you like them. Um, enlighten us. Share the love. Okay. Don't have a problem with that. That's what it's about. <coughs> so thoughts? No. Haven't run across it before. So Delatite Ford says ETH and Ripple. Will they rebound in the short term? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go take a look at ETH. It's doing that for something else. I'm surprised it didn't come down further. Let's put it that way. It came down pretty far, but I thought it'd go down. Um, well, actually, I'm glad it didn't get get down that far. Actually, so that's a good sign. Hmm 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 hmm. Will they rebound in the short term? Well, let's look for a sign of weakness here. Okay. Sign of weakness. You look for the larger bars. Usually a green. Okay. So that's a green up bar. This is a sign of weakness right here. That one, which generally is an indication of a down. <coughs> Up bar followed by a big down bar, both on big volume. That's not such a great sign. See how you, I'm looking at the close of that up bar there on the green. And then a down bar, okay. Big volume, big volume, big volume, big volume. They are really looking to push it down. What is interesting is that we have, what is this? This is on the four hour. Let me go to the 45 minute. Um, okay, it's gonna be following whatever Bitcoin does right now. So short term span, I'm I'm talking about uh, within the month, okay. Well, what do we have going on for ETH? Okay, let's just take a look back. What do we have going on? We have uh, higher lows, right? We still have higher lows, even at that level. Let's line those up. Ooh. Look how that matches perfectly. Imagine that. Imagine that. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Just whammo bammo, almost to the pennies on those, right? Okay. Uh, what do we have going on? Let's go ahead and chart this thing real quick. Buying climax here. Do 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 do. Yes, chatting, humming to yourself helps with charting. If you guys want some good music, let's go here. Let's 
spell it wrong? It's not that. Yeah, this is one, I think. Bon yeah, Emperor. Okay? Check out Emperor. That's some good music to chart to chart to. Oh, here it is. Here's one I like right here. Okay? Anthems to the Vulcan at Dusk. Yeah, awesome one. Check that one out. I gotta bring that up and uh, I'll stop it. And I'll put a link in the chat because that is like if you're going to be charting that is some like charting music guys let me put that here in the chat there it is emperor classic 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 that's all i can say but let's go back to ether okay let's go back to eth okay so we have our buying climax our automatic rally secondary test 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 okay this went up actually a lot higher than i thought it would uh you would even come back down here so it's just doing a test to the upper bound uh doing a test right here in the mid range right there so i'm just charting this up Boom, put it right there. Preliminary supply. Bounce real close off of that. Okay, let's kill that line. Don't need that. General overall trend on this thing is up, right? That's on the macro. Micro, it is like taking a dump. Ah, uh, okay. So, usually what happens is that we look for supply for clues. Uh, we have a lot of cells, a lot of cells. It came up. Actually, pretty good. Let me get rid of this thing. Yeah, I need to buy uh, a subscription to the charting view. I'll probably do that sooner than later. Okay, so we had a huge buy to that stopping volume which is bullish okay see this huge buy down here on that green wick right there that's bullish okay and they pushed it down let's get in here so you can see the bars and you can actually see why bars are importante <laughs> so we see here they started buying they pushed it up here this amount to the close and it still went up still a lot of buying volume going up very low sell volume kicked it down okay and then that freaked people out but then it got down here again and the C and the composite operator bumped it right back up again you see where the close is there why would they do that to give people hope come back and play come back and play it's okay I'm turning the lights on. You can come back and play. So using that type of perspective, that type of viewpoint where they want people to come play again in the playground, then we can probably look for... Do, 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 do. That should not be black. Where's my little uh, tool? I don't know where it went. Sometimes it disappears. Anyway, so somewhere around in this region. So usually what happens, okay, so here, this is the upper bounds. It came off of here, came off of here. Ooh, it hasn't checked the lower area yet. We'll see if it comes down here. They might try to do another check of the lower area. If like this is all it can go down to, then that's that's pretty bullish because it means that um, they have a lot of the supply and then they'll bump it up here. So then look for another test on this line. Okay, look for another test. It could just go up 
It could go down. They could do something like this, do a slow bleed to test the lower area. They could do a test. But I'm looking for a test down in this area or a test up in this area. Okay. Yeah, I know it doesn't give you a definitive uh, a definitive uh, price. Can't do that. I'm just saying, yeah, I can go up or down. But basically, I'm looking in these ranges here because that is the uh, buying climax and the automatic rally. Okay. Oh, there's my little thing down there. So, hope that helps. And the reason why I can't say if it's going to go up or down is because the market's dynamic. And it really depends on where they want to go if they want to test it to go down further. But overall, taking a look at this thing, let's go to the one day, right? I mean, it's it's general uptrend, right? It's still It's still doing its thing. Okay. Trend is your friend. Trend is your friend. Hope that helps. <coughs> yeah, DGP, the uh, the transactions per second double this year in December. Yeah. Hey, you're welcome, Gabrielle. Glad you like my videos. Yeah, there's my uh a uh, little link. Death metal will drive bananas. <laughs> so <I'm trading. laughs> Somebody knows about some good classic music, man. <laughs> the thing is, is that <coughs> if you don't know, um, some of their songs, they have like the drums just going pretty fast, right? But And then they start going like really fast. <laughs> And the thing is, is that when you're listening to it, it's like everything just kind of calms down. It just calms down and you become focused. It's amazing. I use that music all the time for meditation. It sounds, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's part of the yin and the yang, okay? It's, it's awesome. Um, great group and stuff like that, but... Uh, We'll drive you bananas when trading. <laughs> yeah, Gregson. All right. Uh, hey, Bob. How's it going, man? <laughs> so there aren't any other questions. I'm going to go ahead and get off. And, you know, sometimes I get questions of like, oh, my gosh, your videos are like 40 minutes. Why? You know, well, I'm, I'm out of here. You don't do timestamps and stuff like that. It's because I'm talking to you guys. I'm trying to answer your questions. I'm actually trying to answer your questions and you know if people have a problem with that well they could they don't have to watch they can just like jump off the boat man but look at that cool information you just got on ether oh my gosh look at that cool cool information bitcoin let's see what bitcoin's doing once again real quick before we bail uh do, 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 do. has it tanked has it tanked we'll go to the one minute yeah. Do we have enough stopping volume here to turn it around? No, they're still screwing with you, it looks like. They're still screwing with you. Come out and play. Come out and play. It's okay. Come out and play. We'll see. That's what they do. Psychological Warfare. Read The Art of War by Sun Tzu if you haven't. Yes. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Have a great night and have a great day. Just waking up in the UK. Good morning to you. All that great stuff. A good afternoon in Aussie land. So good day. Good day. Good day. Catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notified. It really helps the channel. See ya.